Before we look at the clip from Jaws, let's look at one more Jurassic Park clip together. Okay. Try to imagine yourself in the Cretaceous period. You get your first look at this six foot turkey as you enter a clearing. It moves like a bird, lightly bobbing his head. And you keep still because you think that maybe his visual acuity is based on movement like T Rex. And he'll lose you if you don't move. But no, not Velociraptor. You stare at him. And he just stares right back. And that's when the attack comes. Not from the front, but from the side. From the other two raptors, you didn't even know were there. Because Velociraptor's a pack hunter, you see. He uses coordinated attack patterns. And he is out in force today. Before we move on to the next clip, let's think about what important information was revealed in this clip and how might it come back later. By now it should be clear that the first clip is setting up how Velociraptors hunt. The second clip actually demonstrates how they use those hunting strategies. So even though Muldoon is a skilled hunter, we should know because of the foreshadowing that he'll be outsmarted as soon as he starts stalking the raptor from the front. As for suspense in this scene, I mean overall there is a tense suspenseful feeling as he lines up his shot, but because we should have caught the foreshadowing, we know another raptor is coming, which makes this scene really intense and suspenseful. Now it's your turn, guys. Watch the following clip from the movie Jaws and find two examples of suspense and two examples of foreshadowing. Sometimes they overlap, but you need to identify four different events in this clip. Good luck. Get my raft and go back out in the water. Let me see your fingers. <sighs> Alex, Kintner, they're beginning to prune. Just let me go out a little longer. Just ten more minutes. Thanks. There are no islanders. None of them are from the island. They're just a big bother. Well, they're bringing them. All I want to know, I just want to know one simple thing. When do I get to become an islander? Ellen, never. Never. You're not born here, you're not an islander. Maybe. That's it. downtown but i've got a couple of problems with the house i wish you could take care of one i've got some cats parking in front of the house i can't get down to the office and that garbage truck next to the office has got to be so what i need is a red zone it's a simple thing honey, you can take care of honey would before. you come here a minute okay? please Good. Yeah, fine, fine. Listen, if the kids go to the word, it's really good. No, 
And they can they can play out here on the beach. All right, let them go. It's cold. <laughs> we know all about you, Chief. You don't go in the water at all, do you? It's some bad hat, Harry. Chief Brody, you are uptight. Yes. Come on. That's it. 